Okay, so here we're going to look at some more basic examples of long division. And I guess one pattern that we had in the last video was that our, our dividend had different digits, but our divisor, this number out here, was always one digit. So let's stick with that in this video and, and see what we work with. So let's start with some bigger numbers here. What if I had 1,408? And I want to know how many times does, does 2 go into that number? Well, Long division says, um, how many times does 2 go into 1? Well, it doesn't. Okay, does it go into 14? Yes. How many times does 2 go into 14? Well, 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, so it goes into it at least 6 times. 2 times 7 is 14, so that's perfect. Right? 2 goes into 14 7 times. And then what we want to figure out now is what's left over. Well, 2 times 7 is 14. I'm going to subtract to figure out what we still need to take or divide into. 14 minus 14 is 0. Great. Nothing left over. And now we drop down this 0 right here. Oh, so 2 can't go into 0. So let's deal with the 8, our last digit. Does 2 go into 8? Yes. How many times does 2 go into 8? Well, let's try it out. 2 times 2 is too small. It's 4. 2 times 3 is 6, all right, 2 times 4 is 8, perfect. 2 goes into 8 4 times, so we put a 4 here. 2 times 4 is 8. And when we subtract, there's nothing left over. So what's our answer? Well, in this one step here, when we had a 0 and 2 couldn't go into it, we should put a 0 up here to say that 2 goes into 0 no times, right? The idea being that 2 times 0 is 0. So our answer is 704. Why does this work? And why does long division make sense? Well, what we're doing in this problem, if you think about it, we, we took 1,408 and asked, how many times does 2 go into 14? But that 14 is really 1,400. So first, we take the number of 1,408 and split it up into a group of 1,400. So first, we say, how many times does 2 go into 1,400? And then we say, oh, what else can we split up into? A 0 and an 8. We split up that number. It's still 1,408. We just ask how many times does 2 go into each of those pieces? And that's what long division is all about. Uh, you find out how many times 2 goes into each of these pieces. It goes into 1,400 700 times. That's what we have up here. This 7 is in the hundreds place. It goes into 0 no times. So you have a 0 in the tens place. And it goes into 8 4 times. So we get a 4 in the 1's place. And that's the basic idea of long division. You're finding out a way of splitting up your dividend, this number right here, so that you can divide the divisor into those parts. And then you add up all those, those quotients, these numbers down here, these answers, and that is your total answer in the end. And that's the basic idea of long division, splitting it up and dividing. All right, hope that helps.